So this question says, a landscaper is designing a rectangular garden. The length of the garden is to be five feet longer than the width. Okay, so I need to plug in a picture here. So I'm gonna draw my rectangle. My width is an unknown value, but my length is five feet longer than the width, so x plus five. If the area of the garden will be 104 square feet, Okay, so then the area is 104, but I also know that area for a rectangle is equal to length times width. So I'm going to say that that makes 104 equal to x plus 5, and I'll just throw the x right in front, times x. So I can simplify that because that becomes 104 equals x times x plus 5. When I distribute the x across, this becomes x squared plus 5x. So 104 equals x squared plus 5x. So then I can subtract 104, so x squared plus 5x minus 104 equals 0. I don't immediately see how to factor that. I mean, typically when I'm looking to factor a trinomial, I want to see are there two numbers that multiply to equal 104, but add up, or negative 104, I should say, but add up to positive 5. Let's just try, let's try some things here, actually. Um, let's see. So 4 goes into 104. Let's see, 104 divided by 4 in my calculator. That's 26, but 26 and 4 if those were my numbers, right, there's no way that I can get 26 and 4 to end up being a 5 there. What else would go into 104? Uh, let's try 12. That didn't work. Let's try 16. 104 divided by 16. That didn't work. Um, kind of worked, actually. Um, so 16 gives me 16 and 6.5. So that's also not 5. So instead of continuing to try random numbers, what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use the quadratic um, formula, which says that, or the quadratic equation, which says that x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So I'm going to plug my numbers into, I'm going to plug my numbers into that equation. And what I have here is x is equal to negative 5, right? Because b is 5 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 25, minus 4 times a, which is just 1, times c, which is negative 104, all over 2a, again, a being 1. So when I simplify all of that, and let me just make some more space for myself here. And again, I don't even need the rectangle anymore, so just make a lot of space for myself. Um, when I simplify that, I have x is equal to negative 5 plus minus, and then the square root. So this would be 25 plus, because I have minus and minus here, so negative times negative is positive, and then 4 times 1 is 4, and then 4 times 104 will be 416, so plus 416 all over 2, and then I have negative 5 plus or minus the square root of 25 plus 416 is 441, so all over 2. Then I'll go to my calculator and just see, well, is what is the square root of 441. So let's try that out. So 441, let's do the square root of that. That's equal to 21, so it's a perfect square. So I have negative 5 plus or minus 21 all over 2, which means I have negative 5 minus 21 over 2 and negative 5 plus 21 divided by 2. I can't have a negative length, right? So that's gone. Um, so negative 5 plus 21 is going to be 16 over 2 and equals to 8. So I know that x is equal to 8. And just to remind us of the rectangle, x plus 5 and x. That means my rectangle really is has a width of uh, 8 and a length of 13. Okay. 
So what's the question they're asking me to find? So if the area of the garden will be 104, what will be the length and feet of the garden? Well, the length is 13, right? Because x plus 5 is the length, and we already found that x was equal to 8. So a lot of math there, just because we ended up having to use the quadratic equation, but still pretty straightforward, right? So keep in mind, when you can't factor something pretty easily, we can't factor a trinomial pretty easily, just go straight to the quadratic equation.